everybody and welcome back to my channel! So today I have an empties video for you. I have a shit ton of stuff in here that I have used up that I have been saving in this. <coughs> Tesco's Laybird bag. My lighting is annoying me. It's grey and dark and then the sun comes out and it has rained today and it has been nice today and I'm sat in front of my window thinking this is a really bad day to film and thinking where is my ring light I don't want to use it I like to use natural light so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do with that but I'm not showing you colours I'm not swatching anything for you this is all just the good shit that I use on a regular basis that I have happened to finish I'm going to tip it all out and then we'll get into it and I will tell you what I think of it and whether I'm going to repurchase it again. I love watching these videos because you know that if someone buys it and buys it again or they use it up, it's good shit. First thing I'm going to show you is this Pureology Strength Cure Conditioner and this is the colour care. So I got my hair done ages ago. Um, I had a bit of a box dye issue when I moved to Milk Models. I had dyed it shortly before that and I had used a different colour than before and it had gone a hell of a lot darker than I wanted it to. Um, you guys know that I normally just box dye my hair and that since that salon appointment to fix the colour, that's what I've been doing. Um, so this is the colour conditioner. Um, in fact, I bought the shampoo as well when I was in Percy Reed and that's what I've been using. I haven't repurchased it myself. But my brother got me a set for Christmas, which I am currently using if I'm not using other things. So I do use this. I do like it. It's a little bit more expensive. So if you're on a budget, there are other colour shampoos that I would recommend. Um, but it's nice. It smells nice. You know, you don't need a lot. And what the hairstylist said to me was that you need to squirt out a, um, a blob this size. So it should actually last you a while. I just feel like... What was that buzzing noise? Car. I just feel like most of us just go and that's why we don't like to spend a load on um, shampoos. Um, the next thing I have to show you is a conditioner. This is the Strong Sexy Hair by, well it is Sexy Hair, Colour Safe Strengthening Conditioner Aloe Vera and Mango Butter. I opened this I think in a PR haul or in an unboxing. I have finished this, I've nearly finished the shampoo, see I told you, like conditioner is always the one to go first. And I've also got the hair mask, I will be purchasing these things again. They smell amazing, the mask is lovely. I would say um, this is more for, if you've got really, really fine hair, then keep it away from your roots. Um, but smells amazing got nice ingredients you get a huge chunk it's not too expensive and i absolutely love them so thank you for sending that in a pr or whatever but the sexy hair stuff i highly highly recommend they do lots of different stuff i've also got the i think leave-in conditioner which is amazing if you have really tangly hair um but i really 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 like these two and even though i got them for free I would repurchase these again and next up I have another hair thing this is the Batiste dry shampoo it's the cherry one I get a different flavor <laughs> don't eat this I get a different scent every single time I purchase this and I really like it it's been a staple I have tried the brunette one and it is better for darker hair in the sense that it gives you good volume and it gets all the oils and stuff and you don't see it in your hair but it really irritates me that as you're massaging it into the scalp, your hands get covered in it and then it looks like you've had a bad fake tan or something. Like the brown one is a nice idea, but it just doesn't work as well. Like it's still, if you lie down on anything after, I find that it comes off and I just don't like it. So I always stick with the um, kind of standard one. And I find that if you leave it for a minute or so before you start massaging it in, you don't see it in dark hair anyway. So, really good, really cheap, super drug boots if you're in the UK, I don't know where else they sell it in the rest of the world, but this I have had cans and cans and cans um, of the stuff and I absolutely adore it. More hair things, this has got to be Oilicious with Argan Oil for Daily Use Styling Oil. Um, this is the Schwarzkopf got to be one, um, it's just a nice oil for the ends of your hair, it's not too expensive. I have used up an entire bottle of this. I have a nearly other 
like completely used up one in my hair drawer and I have a backup already so I have repurchased it again and again and again I feel like it's a nice alternative if you don't want to buy something like the Moroccan oil or something that's more expensive like this does the trick and I love it similar to like skin hair stuff I've got two deodorants here these are both the um Mitchum's women uh pure fresh scent of the advanced control 48 hour protection i love these i've got two here i've already got i've got a backup i've got two backups and one in the um in my skincare drawer i go through these like no other i'm not a particularly sweaty person i'm not a particularly smelly person but i find that although you can get marks on your clothes i wear a lot of black i mean that's just a hazard of life um these are really nice they smell really nice i try and stay away from sprays under my arm because of the chemicals and stuff i know still putting anything that's not supernatural is gonna get into your skin all that kind of shit but um i prefer not to use the spray if i can help it um so i use these and they are kind of there's still a little bit left in here but i honestly like it's just getting annoying to have to use it so this you can see is like a cream so unlike the gel ones which i also hate um it doesn't you don't have to hold yourself like this for five minutes till you dry because like the gel ones I, that are really watery are just like oh they freak me out i want to be able to put my clothes on straight away I don't like feeling wet under my armpits because it creeps me out there you go um moving on to perfumes i've got three perfumes here that i used up i have intimately beckham by victoria beckham which is a really kind of um soft uh day wear musky scent um, I then have Eternity Aqua which is very similar and a little bit more fresh I would say um, and then I have the Hugo Boss XX for women which is my other than the Jo Malone peony and blush suede this is my all-time favorite perfume and I feel I think it's discontinued the only place I can ever find this now is eBay and that really upsets me um, this is literally my favourite thing on the planet and this is just, I don't know, it's sexy, it's girly, it's not too sweet, it's got the kind of musky, um, I'm a big fan of like musk, I don't like anything that's super floral, I hate florals generally speaking, like Chloe or anything like that is like my worst nightmare. Um, I like musky scents, I don't like them to be too sweet. I don't like them to like hit you in the face either does if that makes sense I'm a fan of kind of like eloquent sophisticated almost like baby powdery smells so like I don't know I don't know how to describe this I will leave links so you can find out exactly what the notes are because I am hideous at describing scents moving on to makeup there's not a huge amount here um this is my Rimmel Stay Matte what is this a powder sorry um, in 002 Pink Blossom, I'm. it's not finished, it's just really old. I had to clear out of my makeup. Um, some of it I just binned and didn't put in this video because I'm an idiot. Um, but this is one of the things that was going, along with a couple of like Maybelline Fit Me concealers, just because they're disgusting now. They've been in my drawer, I haven't been using them, or they're like half used and they just need replacing, or I've used other things and they're, just, they're no good for my makeup kit or anything if I'm um, doing makeup artist stuff either. So that's going. It's a really good um, budget uh, powder. I still have a brand new translucent one, which is what I tend to carry around with me if I'm on castings and things. Um, doesn't get really, really cakey. Really good from the drugstore. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. This was a sample in one of the things I got in their like hero mini kits or something. You know, like when you go to pay in Super Juggle Boots and they have those like try me mini kits. Um, it was really good. There was nothing wrong with it. I have a load of other eye primers, I finished it, I used it up, it was really good. Would recommend if you're looking for one and you really like the brand, otherwise you've got MAC Paint Pots, you've got Urban Decay, everyone does an eye primer, I think Rimmel have got one that's alright as well. Um, there was nothing wrong with it, it's kind of like a skin colour, it's good. Um, next thing is kind of like a lip butter, but I haven't, as you can see I haven't finished it. My lighting! So dark now, okay. I'm going to try and fix this in post, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, you might be watching it in post going, it looks fine. We'll see, won't we? Um, this is the Corez Cause, Corez, I think, lip butter in, what is it? Is that, what does it look like? Mango. 
it's just really scabby now it's been it's nearly gone it's right down to the bottom you know you keep dipping your fingers in and stuff which is why i don't generally like pots um this is something i carried around in my bag for castings for like a year and it's got to the point where i should get rid of it because it's got you know when stuff starts to get like bits in it and you kind of start wondering what is it and you've been sticking your hand in it and i've been on the tube and i'm Bleh. i'm done i'm done um, next thing to show you is the Maybelline Faux Sils Push Up Angel um, Mascara. This really reminds me of the Benefit Roller Lash. So if you enjoyed that, I would say this is a pretty good dupe because that kind of lifts your lashes, um, doesn't give you, and it gives you a nice length, doesn't give you like super, super volume or anything. So you've already got decent lashes and you are looking for something that is a little bit more natural looking. This really does remind me of like a budget version of the Benefit Roller Lash. So would highly recommend. It does a really, really nice job. I really do love it on the lashes. And I would purchase it again, but I have about 15 mascaras that I need to use up first. Um, you guys know that I love this. This is the Maybelline lash sensational uh, waterproof version it's got long bristles on one side for combing through and it's got kind of a curved one for the other side it's a plastic one again waterproof version doesn't budge a little bit tricky to take off but that's why you use an oil cleanser or a balm or something i really like this this is like my seventh or eighth tube of it this is my go-to if i'm really stuck and i don't know what to do because i'm choosing mascara i don't know no one else would notice but me this would be what i would pack um Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is an oil that I use at night time. It's got essential oils in it. It's really good for rejuvenating the skin, making sure you really moisturise. I love Kiehl's. Half of my skincare routine at the moment is Kiehl's. I absolutely adore their products. They're all responsibly sourced and it's nice ingredients and I could talk for days. Um, I've used a whole one of this that is a bit expensive, but you use like a couple of drops for your whole face. Um, so I really, really, really like it. Just be a little bit careful if you have super sensitive skin because it does contain essential oils, which can be a little bit stringent is the wrong word. Stringent? Maybe. It's a little bit harsh on your skin, basically. Next thing to show you is the Nuit Pour Femme um, Hugo Boss. This was a shower gel that came with the fragrance. The fragrance? <laughs> Sound like Jonathan Ross. Um, the fragrance. Um... I like it, it smells great. This is another perfume that I really, really like. I haven't had it in a while. It's the Hugo Boss Nuit. Pour Femme, obviously, for women. Um, and I really, really like it. I used it in the shower. It's handy, travel size. It came in a set I used up. I would buy it again. Um, then we have another mascara. Funnily enough, the Benefit Roller Lash. I would say these, these two are interchangeable. Um, this just got old again just got old um i would buy it again it was really good if i wanted to buy it and i had a little bit more cash then i might go for this one or you know if there were deals on and they were giving like free gifts with purchases from benefit or something i'm clever about my beauty shopping and if i if i see there are deals on if i spend a certain thing and i have stuff to pick up and you get freebies then it feels worth it to spend a little bit more money if i was more on a budget then and i wanted this i would definitely get the push-up angel from maybelline instead so those are your options skincare we have le cream concentré i am butchering that it's the embryolis it's the french skincare brand um they stock this over here now cult beauty stocks it it's brilliant i have this in my kit bag so I don't work full time as a makeup artist, as you know I work as a, a curve model, um, but when I am doing other people's makeup, this is one of the moisturisers I carry because I find it works really nicely under makeup, but it's really good for any dehydrated skin and it doesn't make you look like a grease ball and it doesn't sort of flash back in photographs. Um, I've used, I don't know, like a million tubes of these. And really good for me if I've had a really tough shoot and I've been wearing a shit ton of makeup and we've had like lots of different makeups put on my skin. It's sort of just cooling. I put that in the fridge for five minutes. I take it out, I put it on my face, sort of moisturise everything and it feels really nice and cooling. Um, Be Clean Melting Gel Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I used most of it. I've used about up to here. And then I started using it to clean my brushes. I really didn't like it for my skin. It stung my eyes. 
I didn't feel like it cleaned my skin very well, <laughs> which is the point of it. Um, and I, it says a nourish, nourishing three phase formula, it leaves the skin soft and supple. It just dried my skin out. I really, really, really did not like it. It does, it is cruelty free, it has the body sign stuff. Um, but I really, well, I just really wasn't a fan at all. Would not recommend, and it says normal to dry. No, if you've got dry skin, I would not touch that with a fucking barge pole. Sorry, but that is just my opinion. Um, bifacial... What is this? This is the Lancome Bifacial Oil Remover, Eye Makeup Remover. I have used, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I don't know, 20 of these over my lifetime, I swear to God. So when I was buying a lot of high-end makeup, or if I order things off the internet, or mum likes the Lancome perf uh, Perfume La Via Belle, often you get um, sort of freebies and stuff, you shop through Debenhams, you've got beauty cards, stuff like that. Um, I've never purchased this myself, but I would. Um, I tend to use the... Look, you can see, I've got another one here and I've nearly used it up. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But I tend to use, um, if I'm buying it for me, because you're literally just taking off your makeup with it. If you want to treat yourself, go for this. As you can see, I do think it's fantastic and it works a fucking treat. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more on budget, I would go for something like the Garnier Skin Active Express 2-in-1 Eye Makeup Remover. And this is because it's got the oil, the micellar water, does remove um, waterproof makeup but you have to kind of hold it over your eye for a little while because these guys have got the oil in it kind of just comes away in one swipe it's a lot easier and the final things that I have to show you are these simple wipes I don't advocate wipes but I do use them I'm not going to lie to you I'm not going to pretend I am the queen of skincare although I like to think I am um this is if I'm on the go, if I've got a shit ton of makeup on from work and I need to get a couple of layers of it off before I start cleansing, these are really handy. These are the only ones that don't break me out, that don't sting my eyes. They take off makeup effectively and they're nice and moist. <laughs> moist, I don't like the word, but it's true, they're moist. So um, I've gone through a million of these, slight exaggeration, but you know. Um, so there's two packets in here. I've got two open packets in my drawer. I use them for wiping makeup off the back of my hand. I use them for, oh, I don't know, like wiping anything and everything to do with makeup off of kit, off of my face, off of whatever. Um, but these don't break me out and they're really good to take in my kit as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and discovered some new things that you might like to try. Um, I would buy the majority of the things that I have chucked out. So yeah, I will leave the list for you down below. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Click that bell button if you're subscribed and if you're not subscribed then click the subscribe button. That'll really help me out. Um, I hope that you're, enjoy enjoy <laughs> hope that you're enjoying um, my more sort of regular uploads. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's just, it's fucked today. Um, I will be back very shortly with some new videos. I've got another unboxing. Didn't really want to do that so close to the last one. But it's just worked out that way because they're, um, the campaign's coming up again. So that will probably be my next video. So I apologise for that. Um, it will be up by the weekend. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say today. So I love you all lots. Please, please, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to follow my Instagram because I've been sort of doing more vlog styly things. Because I've been working. I've been to Germany. I've been in Manchester. I've been all over the place lately. So yeah, love you lots. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Now it's dark again. For fuck's sake. What do you do when you go overboard on your makeup? You put glasses on. Enticing. According to you guys, nice. this video gets crazy. So I am ready for this. All right, you guys. Go away, up. son. Is this light gonna fucking change now? I should just get on with it, shouldn't I?